Hey, dude. <coughs> Hello. Are you good? Hey, dude. How's it going? Do you have a mic? Hello? Hey, bitch! Don't run away from me! Hey, dude, I'm friendly. Hey dude, why are you running? Dude, talk to me. Well, I don't like people that just don't talk. I'm just gonna follow him, see what he's up to. <laughs> yep, we can climb this. Trouble is, I don't know where he's gone, but my guess is run up here still somewhere. Thought that was in my like, crouch down then, trying to hide, but it wasn't. Hmm. Okay. Well. I think I've lost that. Come oh, there he is. Hey, dude! Where are you going? I'm not gonna shoot you. Well, not yet at least. Okay, I'm keeping my gun out because he acts suspicious, but I did put it away. Hey, dude! Look, I can put my gun away, but you are acting suspicious, so it's part of my safety. didn't talk to me. I give you multiple chances. Now look what happened to you. But thanks for your backpack. Okay, well, I uh, understand that he may have not had a, a microphone, but he could have typed. He could have stopped. Like, if I wanted to have shot him straight away, I would have done it straight away, but yeah, I wanted to talk. I wanted to be friendly. You rarely get friendliness in uh, DayZ these days. Or, you know, Armour 3 sort of DayZ type style gameplay. So, yeah, anyway. Welcome, guys. I'm on, um, I've joined Sison's, um, DayZ server. It's on the Crazy Mike map, the Tanaris 2035. It's a pretty decent map. Uh, yeah, I thought I'd come on here. I have actually played this uh, like once before, well twice, but once was only like five minutes, uh, or ten minutes or so, not long. Um, second time I was with a friend who's not actually on at the minute, but we played, and uh, yeah, we saw, saw a bit of stuff. Um, I got a little bit of money in the bank, but I died, so I thought, you know what, now's a good time to uh, come on and uh, try and survive. So, I did actually just spawn an electro look and I died. It was a little bit laggy. Um, well, quite a lot laggy for me. Um, but this server is a little laggy in general, actually, I find. Uh, and I've seen a few other people say it as well about this server, but it's pretty decent. Now, it is a survival server, but as you can see, it does have missions. Um, it's got traders, it's got all sorts of things around the map. Um, and it does have, like, supply drops. 
Uh, so it's pretty good. Now, normally I'm not one for, if I'm playing survivor, survival servers, I don't like really missions. I, I think it kind of defeats the object. But it's pretty good. Um, now, I'm not really going to go to a mission, because as you can see, it tells you how many AI left. And to me, and it happened to me as well the other day, so I've proved it multiple times, people actually camp the missions. I mean, people camp missions anyway, but especially when you get down to like one or two AI left, people are camped there, wait for you to complete it, and then, you know, kill you as soon as it's done. And it happened to me the other day. Um, and especially when well, there's a lot of players on. So, while I'm solo, it's not really worth going to missions because you're pretty much just going to die and lose everything. So, we're going to play the survival aspect of it and just survive. I'm going to try and loot up. So, we're like a cami show, though. We'll bypass the lecture and we'll start heading like northwest. Um, past the mission, I guess, towards Good Glovo and head towards the trader and uh, loot up along the way now my goal is to get all the way up to the nuclear power plant there's some really decent military uh, we'll maybe probably save it for the next episode up in a bit more a bit more up in Bilov there's a military there which is pretty good too now I've not been there on this server so I'm not quite sure what it's like but on, like I mentioned, Crazy Mike's map, or like what he's done. Now, this server, Crazy Mike does have his own server. Um, I'm not going to try and, you know, promote other servers on, uh, on another server. Like, I'm on Sysim server, so I don't want to promote Crazy Mike's server. Uh, but I will just mention that on Crazy Mike's server, the military, the, um, the nuclear power plant is a lot different than it is on here so this map on this server has been like custom done as well it's not just a standard crazy mike's map it has been like a lot of military has been added in and stuff and some changes as well across the map has been added so yeah um so we're going to go up to well the goal is like i said to go to nuclear power plant but first i think first destination is a trader um, but yeah, but we need we want to make some money before we get there, so we want to loot some stuff, um, maybe kill some guys. Now I do like to kill people. I am a sort of KOSer, but at the same time, I do try and talk when I can if I feel that my safety is like pretty safe. If I know I'm gonna die, I come across a group of two or three guys with guns. I'm not gonna stop at all because they're pretty much gonna kill you. So, will depend on the situation. I do want to try and talk to a few guys, but at the same time, I don't want to uh, run like all, all the way up north just to die within a few seconds. So, we'll try and do a bit of talking if I see anyone. I'm sure I will. Yeah, there's like almost 90 people on the server, so I'm pretty sure I will. But if I don't, I'm definitely going to see people around like the northwest airfield and up north towards the power plant. So that's my goal, is to basically get there anyway, uh, and see what action we get into. Now, if I get a lot of action between now and up there, um, between now until I get to the power plant, I'll probably just make one video of that, and then me getting to the power plant, quotation marks, hopefully if I don't die, uh, will be like, we'll continue to a second video. I want to try and make a series if I can. So anyway, I'm just going to, I'm not going to sit here blabber on and watch you guys, uh, get you guys to just watch all of this. I'll, I'm going to try and show the interesting parts. So, um, I'm going to just carry on and uh, see what I can find and I'll be back with you when, you know, maybe I get some more gear. When I get into some more action. Uh, yeah. So yeah, yeah, I'll be with you soon guys. I, well, I will be with you soon. But I don't actually know where I'm going. I'm going to go and loot up, yeah, Staroye. It's a pretty decent small town. I might be able to get some stuff. So we'll we'll make a few little small destinations before I get to Starry. Uh, if nothing happens between now and Starry, I'll probably get back to you when I get to Starry. So I'll see you in a sec, guys. Well, I just spotted a helicopter, um, is it M900 or something like that, I always call it a little bird, 
so there could be it's at the gas station too so has someone landed because they need fuel and maybe loot in the town now I'm not getting too excited because like I said there's traders and it's a survival server but it's also exile like it's like a 50 50 you've got your traders you can buy vehicles you can buy yourself gear and people you can lock vehicles on this because you can buy them so that's probably not going to be one that I can get into it's probably going to be locked where like other survival servers where they're just 100% survival orientated they don't tend to lock vehicles what you find is what you can get you tend to just have to repair them but that's not going to stop me going to go and double check it of course because if I can escape an helicopter that's going to make my journey a lot easier and a lot quicker I believe there is rocket launchers in this game I'm not sure if you can buy them um, you probably can since you can pretty much buy everything else but if there is I'm not quite sure what rocket launchers I have been to traders but I've not really looked through them properly to see what is for sale but let's just uh, make a bit too much noise so I don't think there's anyone here but to me that's kind of odd why it's just landed at a gas pump to me someone's landed there because they need fuel they've probably locked it and they're going to loot check the town so I'm going to quickly check it just fully reload my mag or a new mag hmm. I don't have binos I would have liked to uh, have gone up on the hill up there like where I come from and you can sort of see down into the town I would have liked to properly have scouted it, but I couldn't. Let's just YOLO this. Please don't shoot me. Please don't shoot me. It's locked up. Straight away unlocked. So, yeah, I'm running away from that. There is no reason to be there. If I had um, maybe like a, some sort of rifle, an assault gun, or something with a scope, I would maybe camp it a little bit. See if anyone returns back. But. I'm not going to bother, I'm just going to carry on with my journey and uh, if there is anyone here I'll come across them because I'm going to loot the town. But if there's not no one here, well then, probably all the better for me. So anyway, uh, yeah, nothing's happened so far guys, but I just wanted to show you that and explain that. On, like, on this server there are a lot of vehicles, but it's from what players have bought and they've locked. Uh, there are spawn vehicles. I have come across a few. I tend to not have much fuel in, but I tend to come across a few that do work. So anyway, I'm just gonna carry on looting this town, and maybe when I get to certain checkpoints, I will uh, report back to you guys. Oh, 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 oh! Hang on, guys. Hang on. I don't think there was someone there. I think it's just parked. But I want to know if it's a spawn vehicle. Oh, it's Definitely a crash vehicle. Okay, I don't like this. I'm not in a good place. Let's go check. Um, as you'll see, if you don't already know, I'm a curious minded player. If I see something, even though I pretty much know that it's going to be locked or something, I'll still go and investigate it. Now I can see that it's damaged. I do have duct tape. So I should be able to repair it. I don't think. Oh, it does work. Um, ooh, we need to repair this. Yeah, there we go. Some servers have like an advanced repair system. You need a wheel and you need a wrench. But luckily enough, this is still like, like I said, it's 50/50. It's still set like a normal uh, XL server where you just use duct tape to repair. So. That's kind of good. Not realistic, but it's kind of good. When you've got missions and stuff like that, you don't really need realism too much. So, I'm not too far from the trader, like 2,000 meters. So, we'll get there in a few seconds. But, at least I... I'll probably sell the vehicle. I don't particularly... 
Not that I've got anything wrong with purple. Put my earplugs in. Um, but I don't particularly want to drive around in a purple car. That I especially can't lock. Um, yeah, there's no lock option, so it must be a spawn vehicle. I'd guess. But, yeah, we're just going to pipe our straight to the trader. Okay, guys. Um, as you can tell, I've just fast-forwarded to the trader. I was just talking about just rubbish and blabbering on on the way here, so... Uh, I've done that enough already in the video and there's still a more to come so I'm just trying to cut out where I could and keep the video a bit shorter too um, So yeah, I'm at the trader. I sell my stuff and I'm gonna uh, Make my way over to the power plant So that's where I'll pick up the footage from there guys or just before there I'll pick it up just before I get there. So yeah, I'll see you in a sec guys. Okay, we're Coming up on the cooling pond as you can just see so I'm not quite sure how I want to go about this. I know where there's a few bits of military. Uh, so yeah, I think we're going to just try and stick on the outsides before we go right into the middle. Uh, there's some uh, barracks. Well, you'll see a car there, car there, two cars there, I think, in fact. Uh, car there is uh, somewhere, I think. Um, I was up here the other day, a uh, car there. There must have been about... 20 cars around this area all lot because it's such a good military area this is where people come so I'm expecting to get into some action I'm pretty sure they're locked but yeah I know there's some barracks like I think that way and there's also some there's some all over the place but some pretty close that way go kart these I believe will be spawned I don't think no one's bought a go kart Mm, well, perhaps they have. <laughs> perhaps they have. That was wrong. Well, you can see the car down there too. Or UAZ. I did pass UAZ on the way here to at Grishizno. Grishizno, whatever it's called. Um, I presume it's locked. I didn't stop and check it. Right, so now's the time to be cautious. I don't have any binos still. But the, the key is to listen out for shots because I would imagine there is more than like one group or more than one player here. There's such a lot of people on the server that the chances are there's probably like a, a big group, like, I don't know, like a five man plus group or something. Okay, but it seems pretty quiet. Trouble is, I've only got a pistol, which is okay for close range. If I spot anyone like this far, I can't really protect myself too much. Okay, there's yeah, hospital here. Look, maybe I'll get some medical stuff. But yeah, if I start taking fire now, I'm not really going to be able to protect myself. So I think we all, uh, yeah, maybe take this tree line down. We'll see. I am trying to this believe it or not, this is probably careful for me. I normally rush in. So I'm not very good at being stealthy. I will use just run straight across a, a big open field. Just have a stop and listen. Just to make sure that there is no one firing. Yeah, I need to, uh, one thing I do need to do is, like, practice using first person a lot more when I'm, like, in sort of, like, close proximity of, like, objects and stuff like this. Just, just makes it easy to fire and, like, aim at your target. Where, look, I can't see in front of me. Where, now, perfect sort of view. But I just like third person too much and I always use this view. Because, for example, I'm here, I can see... But if I do that, I can see a lot more. Look, I can see over the tree leaves and you can see a lot more. So it's just um, trying to balance out, like, with using, like, the different, like, view modes at the right times. Like, now would be the best time to go first person. Yeah, I 
think it's pretty quiet, but quietness is usually a bad thing because if there's gunfire, you know there's someone here and you can tell where they are because you can just listen to where the shots are coming from. Quiet it usually means there's someone camping or more than one person and you don't know where they'll be. I mean, there's probably ladders on top of there, could be there. Top of school, top of there maybe, as a guess. So there are a few places that you can expect, but they usually get shot from someone that you don't expect. And even though you might expect it, you can't really see everywhere up there. Like if they're lying down, third person in, just uh, looking around. It's easier for them to spot you than it is for you to spot them. So like I said, sometimes it's better just to uh, hear gunshots so you know that there's someone about and you know where they are. But yeah, there's definitely someone been here because the doors are open. But the question is how long? I think I need a vest. I oh, know, I've got a vest, they're just not a very big one. It's level two, I could, I could probably find a bit better. Like that one probably for example. Can I reach it from in here? Try, I don't think try, oh, level three, hmm. I'm not sure if there's the trike armor vest are working properly. It might be, I'm not sure. Oh, back, back. Oh, we've got a rifle. A Mose in the Gunt. I'll take that for sure. I mean, hopefully I'm going to find something like a, an assault rifle, like an M4 or an AK. But the Mosin will definitely do. It's pretty decent gun. This is a good way as well. If you've got a lot of objects to put in something, do it like that. So, if I wanted to put objects in that backpack, you just double click on it so it opens it up. Click on the item you want, and then you just double click on all the stuff. And it'll transfer to the item, and then you just, like, you just click ground, and then it'll show the, like, the backpack, and you just right click on it and pick it up as normal. Pretty decent way of uh, getting loot quickly. So let's just check this uh, mose in our second. Yeah, not bad on sides, so pretty good. A lot of, uh, well, a few guns at least. Uh, um, the iron sights are terrible, you need a scope, and some don't even fit a scope. Like, I'm pretty sure this mose doesn't fit a sc scope, is it the railed version? Uh, bolt action doesn't. I think the railed version says railed, so I don't think this version can fit the scope. But, but you know, this mode is not too bad. I think it's pretty much one shot kill, two at most. I think we'll still go around with a pistol for now. Oh, lag in, do lag. Just because. Um, if I need to fire quickly, the Mosin isn't really suited for that. It does stick up off my back a little bit, so it's hard to peek the wall. Now, I know there's there's a barrack up there too. I'm just trying to uh, get to qu uh, quick, easy places I see. I've already got an ACO. I don't need that bandana. Right, I'm not actually looking, well I'm here, I'm not looking for uh, items to pick up and sell. If I do find a couple of really good things that I can pick up, I will do, but I'm just looking to get geared at this stage and maybe, well, definitely see if we can see someone. But it seems pretty quiet. that vest, that's for sure. It's got no armour, but if I uh, believe correctly, it's one of the biggest vests you can have. 
Alright, so that's level 3, 120, 48 armor. Where that is, 160 capacity. Yeah, it's bigger than what I had. Now, I could, like I said before, I'm not sure if the trike armor values are working. They, they probably are, I'll just, for some reason I think they're not. So, and even if they are working, um, I tend to find that you get one kit tap, two two killed at most, two shots at most to kill you, and armor armor can save your life, but I tend to find it doesn't really save you that much. Um, you you will die no matter what sort of armor value you've got on. So I like to go for capacity myself. That's just my personal preference. Winterdock. So it looks like medical stuff is spawning, not in medical buildings. Nice. Um, so yeah, I mean, a lot of people like to go for armor, but myself, personal uh, experience, uh, I go for capacity because I like to carry things. I always carry a lot of ammo if I find it. You can never have too much ammo. I think some of the yeah, some of these you can open. I don't know if this server has stuff in them. That one you can't. The silos are usually pretty good or can be pretty good for loot. There's a sort of a main military bit I say main, it's got like two barracks I think and a few tents. Just behind them silos. But again, it's quite of a risky place to go. I mean, well, it's all risky with all these barracks and stuff here. It just uh, invites people to uh, explore the uh, full part of this uh, area. So, believe it or not, I'm actually trying to find people as well. I mean, I don't want to die, so I'm trying to be careful. But I want to get into action. I really don't want to end this video with no action. I mean, I got a little bit at the start, but I would like more. But it is getting to the stage uh, where the video is getting to uh, quite a long time. So it could be that I might have to continue this video. I could uh, just shut up and stop talking and just like show you the bits where things happen and just run around and not record or well record just in case things happen suddenly that I can't quickly press record but I'm just gonna keep recording and uh, I just thought you know I might as well talk to you well, while I'm here doing this So we're going to check the silos and we'll check this uh, um, warehouse 2. Don't really need to go in there. We'll check this warehouse 2. See if I can find some more duct tape because that duct tape I found earlier definitely come in handy. Oh, what have we got here? Another reason. So let's take the ammo. One, it stops them using that gun. If someone comes across and finds it, and two, gives me more ammo in case I need it. Not that I will, because I'll probably die beforehand. Right, these can be a bit tedious to climb, but there it goes. I wasn't really careful, but you got to be careful really when climbing these because if someone sees you run up and climbing them you're just sitting duck they can just run in and uh, put a few bullets in the back of your head so we're almost there and there's still one more of these to climb yet So I, I have, did come up here the other day, but I'm not fully sure, you know, exactly ooh, what loot spawns. But it does look like there is some decent loot. So it spawns me a gun. 
Oh, I was going to say, it spawns me a gun that I can't use the mag for, but... When did the G36 become a 6.5? Isn't the G36 a 5.56? Hmm, perhaps it's... Or is it the G30, G35, is it? It's a 5.56 with a G36. I don't know. It's strange. I'll just take this ammo. But I'm going to take the other gun anyway, I think, by the look of it. Is it a Rayental or whatever? Oh, Moser. There's a gun, a big long gun like this begins with R. A Rayental or something. It's very familiar, but yeah, we're going to take that. Uh, what are these, 50 rounds? There's like 150 bullets there. That will go in there. So like I said, I'm not looking to get stuff to sell. But if I come across things, like that's like 400 pop tabs straight off the bat. I'm going to pick up any decent things that I'm going to make money from. Because I'm not going to stay here forever and uh, I will make a trip back to the trader. Better when I stay alive. Okay, we're going to leave that there. Ooh, I are grenade. Nice. I don't think that's going to come in handy, but you never know. I'm not fairly sure how they actually work, to be fair. I think you chuck them and then it... Does it, like, not blind them, but does it put, like, a smoke over it? So if it's, like, night time or something, they show up in the dark? Or, I, I think it's something like that. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I don't think it's, like, a grenade that directly kills them. So that was, uh, that was quite good coming up there. Go and check the other one. But yeah, I was just saying as I was getting to the top before, I wasn't sure what really spawns up there because when I come up here the other day, the loop really wasn't that good. But this time it wasn't too bad. It's a pretty decent gun. I just need to find. I think I've got a red dot scope. Uh, what's it called? I forgot what it's called now. But I've got that little red dot scope thing that. I believe will fit in, but it's not going to give me any range. Just, I'm sure this gun is good for a good medium to long range. And it's probably going to be good at short range too. But it's probably, uh, imagine a lot of recoil. A gun like that. I'm not going to test it out here, of course, because... Um, look, there's all the, the barracks I was on about, there's some tents down there. Um, I'm not going to test the gun out here because I'm sort of a bit paranoid and even though it's quiet and I've run around a little bit like like a like a headless chicken, I really can't speak today. Um, and I've not been shot at, I still think there's someone here. Time will tell. Probably going to get blasted in hours to come up here. Again, it's always very tricky because I don't really come across anyone camping these, but I've met some people in get in servers that where the, they're the type of people that would camp them. They just wait their time and just camp. Okay, uh, I believe it's 320, um, 300. Yeah, I thought it should be. I thought it was the same size actually. Never mind. What's that? 762. Ooh, that looks like a nice gun. And take it as well. How much is it worth? 300. I'm curious because some guns look nice. Okay, our scope doesn't fit. Um, some guns look nice, but they don't really sell for much, or they're not really that good. So, I like 7.62 rifles. I tend to not, even if I find. Ooh, explosive charge. Definitely take that. Um, even if I find them. I tend to not to use like yeah, your big overpowered sniper rifles like the Lynx and that. Right, anyway. I think that's gonna do it guys. I'm gonna I wanted to find some more action, but it looks like we're not gonna get it. So I'm gonna log off here for the night, because it is pretty late. And we'll continue with this uh in a few days. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.